and gentlemen, and welcome to another Friday the 13th The Game video. Today, I wanted to ask you guys, please, 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 if you can find it in your hearts, go over to Kickstarter. I will leave the link to this Kickstarter in the description of my video, and please go help back the Friday the 13th The Game. We need $700,000 to make this game happen. There's already over a quarter of a million dollars pledged in one day. There's almost 5,000 backers already, and you guys would be doing yourselves a favor if you went over right now and you backed the game. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about the game and some of the rewards packs. So the $5 rewards pack, you just get a digital uh, wallpaper pack and their eternal heart heartfelt thank you. For $15, you can add a soundtrack to that. For $25, you get the thank you wallpaper and you get a digital download key. Those are all gone, however, so you can go to the $30 pack, which is the digital download key, digital wallpaper, and their thank you also. So if you want to get the game, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, $30 is all you have to spend to get this game. However, if you went up to $40, you would also be getting yourself an exclusive beta access key, and that is something that is very, very good. $45, you can also get a digital art book added onto that. For $50, you can get another digital download key for a friend, plus all the other things that we've listed, except for the art book. Now, for $55, you can get everything. Again, it's the same as the $50 one, but that's the early bird version for cheaper. For $59, you can get everything, the digital art book, exclusive beta code, the game, two digital wallpapers, and exclusive in-game Kickstarter counselor clothing pack. Now, the one that I have is $65. It's the Jason Voorhees... Jason Voorhees Digital Pro Pack, you get a Kickstarter exclusive in-game playable Jason character designed by Tom Salvini, Savini, who created the original Jason and created a bunch of the Jason looks and a unique weapon, plus you get all the things listed in the one above, and it just gets more and more awesome. You get a physical version of the game, you get physical edition of the game, plus a bunch of added content. You can get a four-player pack. You can get the physical machete steel collector's pack, which comes with a steel bookcase one, and the one that I really wanted was the, um signed physical machete steel collector's pack it was the steel bookcase signed by a bunch of friday the 13th people including kane hotter sean cunningham tom savini um gun media entertainment everyone plus all the bunch of awesome exclusive stuff so it's really really cool so now now that i've told you about the kickstarter why don't we go into just some things here so Kickstarter, they went to Kickstarter because they need money. They didn't go to a serious publisher like an EA or an Activision or anything like that because they didn't want to have to hold back content. They didn't want to have to hold back the brutal Friday the 13th kills. So they partnered directly with Crystal Lake Entertainment, the people who brought you Friday the 13th. Um, you can play as Jason. You can also play as Camp Counselors. Uh, see, obviously it says that here you can actually stop Jason. You can kill Jason or you can escape. Make your own horror. So, basically, this game tries to emulate the 1980s films. It's got that 1980s kind of grain over it. It's a little fuzzy. They want it to seem like an old VHS. That's why, if you go and look at some of their videos, they are kind of VHS-y, and it's Gun Media Entertainment and stuff like that, or Gun Media Home Video, I think. And they really want to capture that 1980s slasher film type feel, and so basically what they're going to be doing with this is they're going to be compiling all the kills from each game, or at least the best kills, and they're going to be making like a movie-type trailer compilation with that after each game so that you can save up and you can watch those fun kills. And there's a fear system. I don't know if this is actually implemented in the game or if this is all psychological, but really, you don't know where Jason is at any time. He could be anywhere, and that just strikes fear in your mind, and you're never, you're doubting everything. It's somewhat like, um... Like Paranormal Activity, but with Jason. You don't know what's going on. Progression. It says there's a progression system. You can get multiple Jason characters from the classic films, as well as different camp counselors, with their own unique stats and traits. And that only scratches the surface. Uh, the return of Tommy Jarvis. One of their biggest goals is to bring back Tommy Jarvis as a guide for the player. And also, they would like to bring back Mrs. Voorhees. However, that need for that to happen, they would need to make... More than $700,000 on their Kickstarter. They're also planning on bringing some single-player aspects. They're planning on setting up some situations from the movies in which you are Jason and you have to pick off each little camp counselor one by one, but also ones where you're the camp counselor and you need to survive Jason in some scenarios. And one of their goals is also to bring it to VR to make this a virtual reality type thing, and that would be awesome. 
Now there are some stretch goals here. There's a lot of stretch goals. I wish that I could make this out. I wish that it wasn't so fuzzy, but I know they have like a $4 million stretch goal, and I would love to see them get all the way there to that $4 million stretch goal. And I wish I could make out some of these other ones because there's 775000 or Maybe that's 725000 Maybe that's 750000 I don't know. I don't really know what all these stretch goals are. And then here's the team. They have Sean S. Cunningham, who wrote the original Friday the 13th. You've got Tom Savini, who was a big producer on it. You've got Kane Hutter, who's Jason himself in the movies. He was one of their motion cap people. You've got... Harry Manfredini, the composer and audio designer for the original Friday the 13th games. And then you've got Gun Media Entertainment. I'm just going to scroll through them all here. And guys, this is an awesome project, and I hope that you guys will back it, because I know that I'm backing it. If you wanted to see the rewards, here's another thing for the rewards. I'll just slowly scroll through it so you guys can see. And so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will thank you if you go over to Kickstarter right now and you pledge even just $5. $5 will help us towards our goal. And so I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for donating if you do donate. And um, as always, I've been Nolan is Roland. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like rating if you love Friday the 13th. And so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.